It's gonna be easy. Oh, whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh, shit. Oh, I see the mechanic now. I didn't see it before. I do now. Oh, fuck. Might not matter. Might not matter. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, shit, shit. Yeah, doing fucking push ups in the background. Come on, bitch. Let's see what you got. Oh, oh, oh. Shit, 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 shit. Oh, oh. Yeah, see, that's what I should have done last time. I'm behind you, dummy. Ugh. Come on. And yeah, no, I got I got their fucking number this time. Ugh. Come on, you. Got him. Got him. Got him. <laughs> Whew. Death number two. Yeah, let's see if we can get through the game without dying five fucking times, yeah? <laughs> Fingers crossed. Ugh. <laughs> Alright. Concerned, Carlos. The, uh, the postman packs quite a bunch. Sadly stated, Susus. We like you, little guy. <laughs> what do you reckon, Carlos? We probably should reach the top of our mountain. Seems so, so loose. I say we help you out. Confirm, Carlos. Let's do this. <laughs> hey, it's this Thanks for the work, our little guy. Now don't move. This might sting a little. <laughs> Wait, what? Ready, Carlos? Set, Susus. Hut. <laughs> Oof. That probably hurt a lot. If it launched him that far up into the air. I don't think he's living anymore. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> to go from like a stopping position to a whoosh. Yeah, no, he's dead. <laughs> well, I'm hungry now. Shall we snack, Carlos? I just said, Susan, we promised not to eat until our power thistle was ready to be added to the pot. <laughs> I forgot completely, Carlos. Surely its magical properties would make us even stronger. It would be succulent, Susan. It will be gone, carne, Carlos. <laughs> Let's sit by this stew until this thistle is fully grown. Uh, these fucking guys. Uh, they're supposed to explode. They're supposed to be dead. It's the rules. Yeah, they don't. Uh, they're not too keen on following the rules. It seems. Ooh, the fucking snow level. Shit, we're about to have death number three, boys. Are you ready? Cause it's coming. That was close. That was too close for comfort. Ugh. Three HP. Good, good, good. Come on. We can do this. We can burst through. We can kick its ass. No more than two deaths. No more than two damn deaths. Got it. Yeah. Nice music. I know, right? The music for this game is fucking amazing, dude. <laughs> okay, we should have enough for an upgrade. Let's get it, and then let's talk to him as well. But what are we going to get? The Durst Kerbal's fine for saving your life. <laughs> Key charges. Yes. All right. Current area. I'm finally near the mountain summit. Looks like my adventure is about to come to an end. Clearly, you haven't watched the trailer. Pardon? Never mind. Hey, it's cold and slippery out there. Be careful. <laughs> yeah, there's a big twist coming, guys. There's a big twist coming. So much fourth wall breaking. I love it. I know, right? <laughs> uh, not a twist where you know it's coming. It's true. But not everybody knows it's coming. 
you have any stories to share? Of course, here's one for you. There once was a village settled in a land of ice and snow. Food was scarce, but not as much as the heat. Their elders spoke of a lush grove, safe, abundant, and with comfortable weather to boot. The only problem was that the grove lay on the other side of the permanent hailstorm, which would take weeks to cross. One day, a brave couple left their young boy behind to attempt uh, what the village called the trek. They would scout all the way to the grove and confirm its existence, then come back to the village and lead everyone to a better life. Like all who attempted the trek before them, they sadly and predictably, predictably never came back. Over the following decades, that boy grew up with only one goal in mind, to take on the trek himself and find his parents alive at the grove or dead in the ice. Figuring they may have already simply been ill-prepared, uh, he trained every day until he was five years older than his parents were when they left for the trek, then set off for his own attempt. The hailstorm's first bite wasn't as bad as he thought it would be, but the ice-cold soil slowly worked its way into his bones. After, the d after days of walking through the storm without realizing it was all just a metaphor playing out in his troubled young adult mind, he stumbled upon a no-pun-intended chilling sight. His parents, frozen solid in a block of ice. The shock was too strong. He remained there, cursing, pondering, and cursing again, until the cold took him to become a part of the ice block. The end. What? What do you mean, what? No moral, or at least a proper ending? Sometimes stories can be harsh. It might just be the very message that they mean to convey about life. You need to think about what transpired and find your own takeaways. There are no wrong answers, as long as they ring true to you. Maybe, but this one really felt like a pointless story. And it just might be the case for you that it was. Or you could consider the implication of our adventurer being five years older than his parents when he found them. Can you imagine gazing upon those who were your protectors and mentors, realizing they are actually younger than you? Your bearers of truth, the wise ones, those you aspired to be like. A harsh reality indeed. You thought they knew it all, had it all figured out, that they were centered and filled with purpose. Yet there you stand, beholding the one pillar you ever took for granted and used for stability, physically crystallized, yet mentally shattered before your very eyes. Had they really found their inner peace already when you knew them, meaning you're the one who, meaning you're the one who missed the mark? Or were they simply excellent actors? Food for thought, huh? Yes, that's, yeah, that's enough. Remember, this is all subjective. I shared, but one angle. Whoa. Man, fucking heavy words, dude. Heavy words. Thanks, dat fucking guy, which is now his official fucking name. Ooh, this guy again. And away he goes. Mysterious warrior once again. <laughs> Ooh, a power seal. No, 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 no! <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Are you kidding me? Death number fucking three. Oh, just some stupid bullshit fucking miscalculation. Oh my god, fucking spike death is worse death, am I right? Fuck. <laughs> God damn it. Alright, that's it. This guy's gonna fucking die. Ow! Away he goes. No more deaths. They ain't gonna happen. Damn it, I hit the fucking projectile thingy anyway. No more deaths. No more. Fucking... For no more deaths, I'm getting hit an awful lot. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down. Slow down, Chun. We need that power seal, don't we? Ugh. No more deaths. No more deaths. Okay, let's not make the same mistake we made last time, yeah? <laughs> Got the power seal. Better stream me beating Final Fantasy 15. I would like. I would very much like to. Mm. 
No! Okay. Okay, I thought that was gonna kill me. I was gonna get very fucking salty. Whoop. Yeah, I'm just about back to, uh, to where my, uh, PS4 save was on, uh, on Royal Edition, so I'll probably be streaming it to YouTube again at some point, uh, very soon. Come on, let's not have death number fucking four already. Thank God. <laughs> Ugh. Want to see my reaction? Oh, dude, yeah, for sure, for sure. Spike Death are always the worst. Yeah, Mega Man. Mm -hmm. Luckily, Spike Death doesn't just mean insta kill for you this time around, though. I know, Crow. I know. Ugh. Want to be the guy? Oh, dude, that's an awesome game. That's an awesome game. Yeah. Okay. Ah. Uh, come on. Son of a bitch. Can we not? <laughs> Fucking. There we go. All right. Focus, Chun. Focus. The, the game's starting to get actually hard now. <laughs> Like, I wouldn't say it ever really reaches, like, Ninja Gaiden levels of difficult, but it does have its moments. Oh, and by the way, guys, you think you think the music is super cool and awesome right now? Just wait. There are two versions to each song in this game. And that'll make sense shortly. Let's go, let's go, let's go. There's nobody in the shop. You really, th you really thought it would be that easy. Um. Yeah, yeah. I told you already. The cabinet is off limits. No, you didn't. Please stop. Yeah, fine. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> this fucking guy. All right. Crash fingers, boys. Let's hope we can do well. Wait, what? Is it? Is it wait, this is where I'm supposed to ask five. Hold on. What? Look, <laughs> dude, just do the fucking Tim Allen thing for no reason. Oh, he made it. Does this mean we can do the thing? Keep your keep your hood on shortly, or keep your hood on, Shorty. He still needs to pass the final test. But I want to do the thing. Now, now, we need we need to see how attuned to the scroll he really is. Great. Take it away, Prophet. Ahem. Welcome, Messenger. Please hold the scroll aloft so that the prophecy might be fulfilled. I know it's in the chest. Don't, don't tell nobody. <laughs> see, I told you he was slow. Yeah, you weren't kidding. <clears throat> Please hold the scroll higher than that, so the prophecy might be fulfilled. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit! What's going on? <laughs> uh. He... He made it. Of all the messengers, him? Please pull this off. I really want to do the thing. <clears throat> A gauntlet awaits you, messenger. Should you survive, find us at the top of the Tower of Time. Well, what could this mean, ladies and gents? Let's go find out.